Nina game number five. Yes. As this could possibly be our last game here for Torgraph Cup. Could very well be. Well. Yep. We're going to be getting into it. Who do we got over here on the bottom line? Oh, over here, we have uh, a green Crouch House player. I believe his name was Naya something. Yeah, but something, to, but something representing like Team Extreme Supremacy, it is Believe. And over on the bottom right, we have our teal or pink Zerg player representing Team Ascension. It is BioIce. Yay. <laughs> the crowd here is just great. They're going nuts. They, they really love BioIce. Absolutely Bio here. going nuts. <laughs> One guy literally ripping his hair out. Yep. And like in anticipation of what's going to happen. Are you sure that's not a fighting game player? Yeah. I think, I think it might one, be a fighting one guy named Steadfast, he must have been hitting himself in the face yep. because he wasn't that ugly when he got here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Right now, we've got StarCraft going on. Yeah. There's a lot of salt in here, but I'm pretty sure that's just from the fighting game players. Probably. There, there's a lot of uh, games going on there. And yeah. There's a lot of frauds, but over here, we don't have any frauds at all. We have no. two very skilled players, and right now, they're really trying to play safe. They are, and, and this is an interesting positions for them to start in, horizontal like this. Two of the bases so close to one another. Yeah. And, uh, I want to... You know, believe he likes to go Stargate a lot, but we he haven't does. seen that from no, him yeah, all day. No, yeah, he hasn't day. done that much. He did make do the one game with a couple oracles, but he was already well ahead in that game. Yeah. I'm wondering, is he going to go for it? If he if he can scout his opponent, yeah. and realize that they're that, close by air, yeah. that would be a uh, pretty good. Yeah, it would be an idea. Well, Cybernetic score. Everything's going down at the back of this base. It is. That's normally a it's sign. It's kind of Heidi. It yeah. is indeed kind of Heidi. The Overlord will come in here and just discover where he is. Indeed. And yeah. uh, on the flip side, oh, Believe. He's not scouting. He's not scouting. It's true. He's back to full Believe mode. It's he, the punch-out music. It's, it's he, empowering him. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> care what his opponent's doing. He's doing what he's doing. He, he is preparing himself. Yeah. The punch-out music is channeling the energy through him, and he is preparing. Exactly. And he's going to be throwing down yeah. a Nexus. He's got his gateway up. He's got a Mothership Core on the way, but he's only got the one gas. Stargate looking to be uh, a little bit far off the mark right now. Yeah. A bit cool Third base underway. Yeah. Uh, again, going for big macro is BioWise. No possibility of cannons or anything this time, obviously. As our player believe, well, I was going to say he has no idea where he is, but by virtue of the Overlord, he does know where he is. Yeah, it, it came yeah. straight through the right here. Yeah. So very expected that his opponent would be on the bottom yeah. right. And it also came very early, so yeah. it would have had to come he the right way right away. Um, but for right now, Bios, he's going up to the quick three hatcheries. He's got his pool finishing up soon. I'm wondering if he's going to be trying to get metabolic boost quick and quickly. Uh, One big figure. Yeah. yeah, he's banging up quite a bit of gas, but we'll have to find out. Right now, we've got the Mothership Court. It's actually heading across with the Zealot to try and put on some pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be a cute little maneuver. Able to kind of keep pressure on the Queen if that's what wants to defend it. Yep. And uh, drones getting transferred over here. Oh, that's that's two drones with gas being oh, wasted. My. Waste. Biowise, how could you? Yeah. Economic abuse. Indeed. Only you can stop it. The speed is underway. The queen is being constructed at the third base. Yep. And, and a few wings coming out. Yep. And they're actually going to be heading across the map, but... Oh, there's the sentry. Yeah. Will it be able to force field it in time? No, it will not. And uh, these, yeah. two, these two zerglings... He's just going to fork it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's three. But 20 lings are coming. Yeah, there's a lot of zerglings. Yeah. And like, but the thing is, is, they're all coming in little packs like this. Yeah. When they come in little packs like this, it's okay. It's because not bad, but he yeah. doesn't, he has a small number of units and he can deal with it individually. Yeah. Um, but, oh, he's going to kill a queen. Not attention, loses the queen. Uh, the yeah. pylon is ready. The yeah. warp gates are also ready. Oh, no. Yeah, lag again, unfortunately. That is not good. 
But yeah. we're going to try and power on through it, believe. Again, only one game away. He does not want to risk this too much, no. unfortunately. Um, yeah, lag, unfortunately, a bit visible again. Yep. Molly Ship 4 is still going after that hatch. Yep. And it looks like there is the majority of the Zerglings. They're going to be able to sliver right on and get yeah. getting a good surround on those Zealots. And the, the Zerglings going to be trying oh, to grab at nice this pylon. Nice pylon there. Yeah, he's going to try and throw another, big. but I don't think he'll oh. be able to. Yeah. Those are three warp gates now all on power. The four gate has basically been shut down for yeah. about 60 seconds. And meanwhile, we've still got Zerglings running through Believe's base right now. And more and more Zerglings are still heading across the map. But this third base, it's going to finally be going down. I wonder, is that Queen going to be able to pop out? I don't think he'll be able to. It actually will. Just, just because those two Zealots ran off of it? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, over here, the gate, the warp gates are now repowered. A pylon going to be filling up the hole. One of them is actually very close Quite to low. dying. And I believe is not paying attention to this base. Yeah, it should fall. He is warping in there. Oh. And we'll uh, back out. Yep, just gonna back out. It does, does lose their mushroom core. Is very. It has almost full energy, and it's. <laughs> he really wants to kill. It. Oh, oh, loses both. Mutually assured destruction. Nobody wins. Man, tournament canceled. <laughs> it's like we're in a base race. Yeah. Both, we have a nexus and a hatchery. Both at five health. A drone and a probe are both attacking, and then uh, ends up they both kill each other. And now it's a tie. Wings coming in here again, trying to keep the pressure on, but I think Believe is stabilized enough at this point. Uh, well, he's going to be losing another warp gate here, it looks like. He could force field to stop, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Say, like, instead of letting it die and then force fielding to block, you could force field to stop it. Well, Bioice is going to be throwing down his third base yet again here, and uh, in his main, he's not actually got too much tech. He's only just getting no. up his second gas. He's been focusing on getting those Zerglings out quite a while, but same could, the same could be said yeah. for Believe. He tried to foregate, it didn't work. Now, though, he's still got this pylon over by the third base, but uh, Bio right. Ice is going to be sending a cleanup crew for that. Yeah, and it looks like Bio's gone back to droning a bit. Uh, I think he is not going to just continue pushing with lings like that against the wall. Yeah. And uh, right now, we've got the Zealot going to be coming on in. It's going to get surrounded pretty easily, as it was just the lone wolf against a whole lot of mosquitoes. Yeah. But... The plus one underway. Roach is underway for Bioice as well as the lair. Supply block for Believe as that pylon's cleared up, but he's got a couple coming in just a moment. Yeah. And uh, now, funny thing here is that Believe's kind of walled in here, and it does seem yeah. like he does want to actually stay here. This is good for him because he's getting a robotics pay up right now. Yeah. So he, I feel like once he gets Thermal Lens, he's going to bust that wall back open, and then he's going to be ready yeah. to move back on out. As you know, you don't want to be stuck in your bases for too long, as especially since you know, you're facing a Zerg player. They're going to be on three bases uh, for a while. You do not want to fall too far behind economically. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to see him move out around the two Immortal, two Colossus point. And... Uh, it looks like Overseer Stalker. here taking a peek. Tickle Beams of Death going to be trying to clean this up as well. Changeling going to be coming down. Won't actually. Oh, there we go. Oh. Gets targeted down. That Overseer escapes with uh, very little health. But it escapes, and that's all that matters. Meanwhile, yes. Zealot's getting warped in right across the gap between the third and uh, another possible base. Get a couple drones. But. Uh, being surrounded. Zerglings immediately gap. trying yeah. to follow it. And. Uh, Slings checking other positions. I'm trying to see if there's other proxies anywhere. Yep. And uh, for right now, we've got a lot of Zerglings just kind of sitting up north. Yep. Waiting for something to do. Coming back down. down. The reserves. Ah, I see. I see. Totally see. reserves. The Hallucinated Phoenix coming on in. Oh, seeing okay. that BioAce has, in fact, built overlords. Good to um, know. Though, I, I guess you'll see that Galal Constitution finished. Yeah. Though, of course, you never know. It might be Dunlin Claws. It's certainly possible. Uh, Spire coming out here now. It's a rather... It takes a while. Position. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, in an interesting position at the third base there. I guess he thinks that because there's something already happening there... Yeah, that he may not go back to it. Yeah. He would look for a different position. 
Plus, also, you can keep kind of an eye on it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's kind of flickering yeah. just on the edge there. And uh, for right now, we've got a lot of roaches going to be coming on out. Yeah, and this is kind of what I thought for Believe. As the second Colossus finishes, he had added a bunch of gateways, and he's starting Third to move. Course. Yeah. And uh, he's prepared to move yep. out. Plus one armor is going to be finishing up versus a non-upgraded Zerg. Yeah, now BioIce has his army past that over here up in the middle. And both of them kind of dancing around without knowing where each other is. Yeah. Uh, and now BioIce has seen this army. Yep. And Pylon coming down. And I think we're going to get the attempted counterattack here to try and pull this back home. Yep, it's actually going to be able to catch yeah. one of the Colossus. If he could get it, that'd be huge, but not going to be able to. Will be able to escape to the high ground. Yeah. And uh, that gateway is going to be going down very quickly. It does actually get a bit of high ground vision for, for a short amount of time. And oh, he can see the Colossus now. And it's yeah. actually going to escape just barely. Yeah, very clutch that believe reclosed the wall. Yes. Had he not reclosed the wall, those brushes are in the main base or something. Yeah. Um, so now three Colossi, yeah. and he's going to attempt at going back, but Bioice, he's going to be getting up by Corruptors now. Yes. And Colossi here don't, uh, they, d they don't like Corruptors very much. They don't, but all that Roach and Ling cover is also gone now. So some Roaches, some Lings are coming back out, but I'm not sure if this is enough. Uh, he's still got Force Fields available to him, still got Immortals there, still has the Mothership Core. Uh, with a bit of energy, full energy, I think. Oh, the Colossus are actually leading the charge. That's not what you want, but the Roaches are going to be trying to get a very good Hallucinated flank. Hallucinated one taking the hits. Yep. The Colossus pulling back, the Corruptors going after them now. Only two of them actually engaged, though, yep. as this one pulls off to the Mothership Core. Three of them now. Yep. Star the Stalkers target firing those down, taking a lot of damage. One of the Immortals falls here. Good trap on the rest of these Roaches, and I think there is enough for Believe to break through. The last Corruptor does go down. 16 Roaches are coming back out. It's but with two Colossus total. still alive, one Immortal still alive, trying to get in close enough to take that sort of thing down. But it's hard to get anywhere near this army. Good concave by all these Roaches, but it may not be enough. He but nothing yeah. is being warped in. And yeah. GG, Believe, is going to be taking Thorcraft Cup round three. Yes. Three to one over Bioice. Yeah. So. It just goes to show you if you practice hard, you too can win a tournament provided that NASA is in Korea. Yeah. So, well done to Believe for yep. winning the first tournament. Yes. De featuring NASA. Yes. And, uh, well, that actually calls it a wrap for us to. It does to call it a wrap too. for us too. But However,. There is going to be some uh, Defense of the Ancients 2, uh, I mean Dota yeah. 2, yeah. taking place. That Dota doesn't stand for anything. Not anymore. No. But it's going to be taking place after us here on this exact same channel. If you'd like to keep watching for some Dota, stick around if you're in the venue. Well, it'll also be on the projector we've had up here as well. Damn and of right. course, that's going to be casted by uh, Whiplash, Streetlight, and Strygwer. So it should be good. But of course, Torcraft Cup would not be possible without the help from some of our friends. One of them being AMD Radeon Memory. They do a lot of good stuff here for us at ES Champ, providing great, great hardware that you can use to help your rig. I know a couple of the people here, they definitely need an SSD from AMD. Yeah. Some of the load times were just god awful, but we'll get them hooked up at Extravalanza June 20th to 21st. Definitely. Yep. And, uh, of course, we here are ES Champ. You can follow us on all the social media, forward slash ES Champ on anything. Yeah. Follow, like, subscribe, what have you. And, uh, of course, if you want to find out when we're doing stuff next, eschamp.com slash sign up. You can get our email newsletter to find out when we're doing tournaments, when we're at tournaments, when VODs are live, and all that sort, sort of kind of thing. Yeah, um, and uh, we're here at Enthusiast Gaming Live. I know now that StarCraft's done, I'm going to be having a bit of fun to myself. Of course, there is the concert yep. going on. Oh, I know, yeah. so I'm not sure if it's coming out, but um, this event was sponsored by uh, Mountain Dew, MSI, and Rome Mobility. Yes. Mountain Dew, of course, everyone knows Mountain Dew. Everyone knows Mountain Dew. They, they make some do good drinks. Do you do the do? I do the do okay. quite a bit. And, uh, of and course... Maybe you do a jump on your bike <laughs> over a ramp. Yeah. 
and something like that, and go like this. Yeah, so, something like that. Yeah, I don't but, know. Uh, I, of course, MSI, they also make yeah. some great computer products, yeah. motherboards, other sort of hardware that you could use in your rig. They could go ever so much faster. In real mobility, if you like leaving the country, maybe yeah. you want to go visit. Um, maybe you should leave the country. <laughs> maybe you did something. Ma maybe. Maybe you gotta, you, you gotta go until the heat dies down. Yeah. Well, then uh, you can get a SIM card for more mobility, yeah, yeah. make it a bit easier yeah. to have yeah. some low roaming Argentina charges. Argentina has no extradition laws. Yeah. Buy one of these chips and go there. <laughs> but that's going to be it for us here today. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Master Dulk. Andrew Sword, where can our viewers find you? Uh, you can find me at Andrew Sword and yeah. uh, often casting the ASL. All right. Well, that's it for us he here on ES Champ for StarCraft 2. Yep. Be sure to stick around for some Dota 2. Have a good night, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. <laughs>